Stinger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a project with you that I created using the Graphic 45 Balloon Collection. I did use the 8x8 papers as well as some of the patterns and solids and the journal cards and chipboard pieces. Um, I'm calling this a mini album slash folio because it's kind of like a folio but it does have two pages. So it does measure five and a half by eight and a half and it does have a two inch spine. So on the front cover, what I did is I layered up one of the journaling cards and I fussy cut some of the stamps here. These are some flowers I had in my stash. I die cut or punched out some leaves here. This is actually a leaf from the Graphic 45 flower die. I have a chipboard element here, here, and I added some pearls here, and then I die cut a little doily. I did layer this all onto one of the patterns in solids because I wanted to use the papers from the eight by eight pad. So on the spine, I have the green with a border strip and on the back I have the blueprint here with some solid and then this is one of the chipboard elements that I popped it out and wrote and put in some design um, the patterns and solids here and added two more little pearl bling. So you open it up and on the inside front cover I have an accordion pocket here with a row of stamps here and here and I did put these little stamps up on some pop dots. My sister made me a super cute little charm to dangle here. It does have a magnetic closure and again these are the square tags and there's some cute ephemera cards inside here some of the four by six and the three by four some of the design paper and a border strip right there and that just closes like that on the first page i have whoopsie chipboard element right here three more um cute little fussy cut stamps another border strip and then I have some more stamps here. And then I have a couple of booklets here. And this one's created with the four by six journal card. Added some pink paper here and some green. And then this one is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I used a three by four journal card here. Some more pink paper here and here is the back. So you flip it over and on the back, I have um, another chipboard element here and then here. And I left this chipboard element open and I stuck these two little journal cards in here to hold that little flap down. It's two more three by four cards. Inked around a lot of the edges with walnut stain. And then this is a large pull out at the top. So you can journal here and put your photo here. And then you can also put photos on the back if you want. Love the green paper here. So that goes back in there like that. And then these two just tuck in here like this. Over on this side, again, I have some cut aparts from the 8x8, and again, two more booklets that are the same size. I added a chipboard element here. This is fussy cut from the paper, and again, striped on the back, and then over here, I have some more design paper here, and again, there, I found this pink paper that I thought kind of matched the collection, so I use that on my photo mats as well. I can want some more chipboard here as well. You flip it over and then over here I took one of the cut aparts and just glued it down on two sides. Again, some more cut aparts here, some 3x4 cards, and another 3x4 card. And then I have a uh, chipboard element I put on the top of this, and again this is the insert. That again has the pink, and the pink on the back. The inserts are quite large, they do measure 5 by um, seven and a quarter and then this little space up here is three and three quarters so there's a large you could even put a photo here if you wanted but i left it cream so you could journal on it as well so those go back in there to hold this closed And then on the back inside cover, again, another chipboard element here. I made a little belly band and I used one of the regular ivory tags and I die cut it with one of the four by six journal cards, added a cute little chipboard element here and tied some ribbon at the top. And then again, this is another die cut journal card. Add a little pearl here to the center. So there's some little butterflies I punched out with a punch. And then you flip this open and then again another uh, four by six card that I trimmed down to fit on here. And I have a little hidden three by four waterfall with one of the journal cards on the front. And then each of these have some pink and green design paper with a fussy cut stamp. 
super pretty. This collection is lovely. Um, this project is actually the project I taught at my National Scrapbooking Day weekend retreat, but I never shared it with everybody. So there you go, everybody. That's my Graphic 45 Bloom mini album slash folio. Thanks for watching. Bye.